Ian, preparing for the trip to Mansfield tomorrow afternoon, you've had a couple of days on the training ground with the lads. How's it been up there at Lost Stop? You look so positive. The lads' spirit has improved tenfold and probably the last two weeks more than, than any other time this season. Uh, they're in a really good place. They're starting to believe in themselves, which is better. And they can see the quality we've got around the place in the squad now. It's, you know, it's all potential, but we need to turn that potential into reality. Yeah, seven points from nine and just one defeat in six matches. Can you not only sense a positive atmosphere, but maybe signs of momentum growing now? Look, we're, we're, we're improving, there's no doubt about that. And even on the bad run, towards the end of it, we, there were signs that we were improving. But we've got a long, long way to go. Um, we're nowhere near there yet. We're not going to rest on our laurels. I said to them this morning, we can't have a day off. We can't have an off day. Um, we are where we're at in, in the league right now, but we still have an opportunity and we have to take that opportunity. Um, we have to go into every game believing we can win and be at it every game. We haven't, we haven't, got, the, we haven't got the time to be able to back off because of how the, the start of the season was. We've got to be at it full tilt from now to the rest of the season and hopefully that's enough to get us where we want to be. A tough test tomorrow as well. They've got some momentum of their own. Mansfield, what challenge are you expecting? Tough, really tough game. Um, Nigel is a very experienced manager, um, a fantastic motivator and, and their team will be motivated to, to try and beat us. But as I've said before, we have match winners, we have a lot of quality in our squad and whoever, whatever team I pick to, to go out there and win the game, I believe we will, if we play to our strengths and play to our quality and standards. Um, but there's competition for places and the players now know that if they don't perform, then someone else is ready waiting to take the place. What's the situation on Kieran Lee? Has he finished his period of self-isolation now and will he come straight back into contention? Yeah, he's, he's back out of quarantine on Saturday. He's trained the last three or four days and, and been fine, been really good. His fitness levels are still excellent. He's a fit lad anyway, as Kieran, so he's available tomorrow night, which is good for us. In terms of team selection, I'd imagine you've got a little bit of a headache at the minute because there's so many options in so many areas and perhaps quite difficult to pick a team at the moment. It is difficult, but that's how it should be, especially at a club like this. You know, we should have competition for places. We should have you know, serious quality in the squad. And for the first time this season, my, my decisions are difficult, really, at the moment. But as I said, players that get selected, they have to take the chance and opportunity because if they don't, someone's ready and waiting to take the place. And we, by mixing it up and changing teams with the amount of fixtures we've got, we're not really going to lose much in terms of quality because our squad is, is really deep and strong at the moment. What's the latest on on the lads that are currently sidelined? Uh, Sars is back on the grass. He'll be available again next week. Um, Sean Miller's obviously been fine. He's back involved, available. Kieran Lee, as I said, back available. Um, Dennis Politics, back on the grass, kicking a ball again, which is great to see. Uh, Harry Brockbank's injury is not as bad as first year, so he'll be back next week. Um, so really only Leo Edwards are the long-term ones that's that's still unavailable, but everyone else is, is making really good progress. Two off-the-field appointments as well yesterday, Scott Lindsay and Chris Markham. Just tell us a, a bit about those appointments and, and your thoughts on their arrival at the club. No, look, I think we've said all along that there's huge progress being made off the pitch. Um, the board, myself and the new recruits are, are fully aligned in what our vision is for Bolton and our journey. Um, and, and Scott is very much a board appointment. I'm meeting him just after this. I'm looking forward to speaking to him. Um, and he'll obviously add you know, something to us. Chris, someone I know more of and know more about, um, has fantastic qualities in all areas really and he'll be a real help to me moving forwards. As I said, we're all excited about the, the future and the journey. Uh, we're just getting started on that but we're now getting the right people in the right roles which is important.